Hello YouTube, this is the DBT Gamer Show, episode H2, and today I'm reviewing Yu-Gi-Oh! Spirit Call for the Nintendo DS. Now if you haven't watched, this is part 2, now if you haven't watched part 1 yet, you've missed quite a bit. I've already talked about the story, the graphics, the music, the controls, the, the gameplay, and some of the good advice game. So if you haven't watched part 1 yet, please watch that part before you this part so you don't get confused. Now let's take a left off. I left off after just talk about the shop in the game. Now I'm going to talk about the um, boss duelists. In the game you will fight several boss duelists. Um, One of the bosses that you'll fight quite a lot is the um, is the final boss. The final boss, you have to beat this guy four times in four shadow games. And this is just taking the mic. It's, it's a really difficult boss because you have to beat the guy four times in a row. It's really, really hard. Um, other bosses in the game that can be quite difficult. Um, Dark Zane is pretty hard. Um, but other than that, most of the bosses are pretty challenging. Okay, now the last thing I want to talk about is, is the um, character model. Well, when you start up the game for the first time, excuse me, you can design your own character and pick his clothes, his hairstyle, uh, what dual disc he has, the whole, all that sort of stuff. This is my duelist. I've given him a baseball cap, uh, the obelisk blue uniform, and the um, crowler dual disc. If you go into your um, dormitory room, you can touch things and change your clothes. So you can, you got suits, kind of uniforms. Um. Hey, you've all got several door discs in the game. You got the cheap what the cheap door disc from from Navitado, the Alchemy door disc, the Vampire door disc, the Fair door disc, and the Amazon door disc. Uh, you got the Academy door disc. All that sort of stuff. Uh, in this game, we've also got dual spirits. Now, what dual spirit does? You, you can't. It in the game. If you in certain parts of the game, it will help you beat certain people. I've already collected two dual spirits so far, but there are several dual spirits that you can find in the game and they all have different special abilities. The two dual spirits that I've found, I've found also a hero, which makes me get more time in the dueling test. And the other dual spirit I've found, dual spirit I've found is Starboy. Starboy helps me unlock more cards when I um, open the packs. And um, you can also put titles in the game. The titles of the game basically are things that you can unlock, so you can tell people how good you are. You got your self-proclaimed expert, amateur, car collector, door disc collector, all that sort of stuff. There are loads of um, stuff to collect to redesign, redesign your character. Um, that's basically all the good stuff I'm thinking about. Let's go to the bad stuff now. Oh, one more thing. Um, the duels in the game, they all look pretty good and they look very similar to the um, ones in Nightmare by Tavador. And so there's really that much to show you there. Now let's go to the bad stuff. Okay, now the reason why I need to show you a duel in this, game, in this review is because one, the duels take an extremely long time. And two, I already showed you a duel in the last review, and the duels in this game look pretty much the same as they do in the, um, as, as they've always done. So, I didn't want to, um, use too much time up. And let's go to the bad stuff about this game. The bad stuff about Spirit Caller is, well, it's very similar to the bad stuff about the, um, Nightmare Time game. Uh, first things first, there's not enough cards in the, in the game. I know it's 1400, but there's 
not really enough to satisfy me. Because there are certain cards in the game, like um, Blowback Dragon and Barrel Dragon. They put both cards in, but they haven't put the Fusion Monster in, which is Gatling Dragon. And Gatling Dragon ha happens to be one of my most favorite cards. So I wasn't really happy with the amount of cards I put in. And you're back this game, and they've done it again. They put card doubles in it. Really? Did they really have to put card doubles in again? God, Konami, you are too stupid for words. Jesus. I mean, do we really need four direction cards? Really? One is enough, not four. We just need one. The same goes for Blue-Eyed Black Dragon. There's about four of them in, in this game. But we only need one. I don't mind if they have the evolutions in like Blue-Eyed Ultimate Dragon and Blue-Eyed Shining. They're fine. But if they have four of the same card, ugh, it's just really retarded and stupid. Did they really have to put them in there? No. If they took out some of those card doubles, they could have put Gatling Dragon in and some, of, and some other great cards. You know about this game is that leveling up can take a heck of a long time, even longer than Nightmare Trapador. The doors in this game give out less experience points than Nightmare Trapador, so leveling up takes even longer, and this can make the game a bit frustrating at times. Anyway, let's rate Yu-Gi-Oh! Spirit Call for Nintendo DS. I'll give Yu-Gi-Oh! Spirit Call for Nintendo DS a 4 out of 5. It's a pretty good Yu-Gi-Oh! game. And if you're a fan of the um, Yu-Gi-Oh! series, it's definitely well worth buying and well worth playing. It's quite to get all these these days, it's about 20 to 30 quid. This is a pretty good Yu-Gi-Oh! game, so it's a 4 out of 5. Now my next review will be a Game Gear review. I'm going to review... G-Logic Air Battles for the Game Gear. But... I'll see it for the next time, you two. Until then. Bye-bye.